Hello and welcome to episode 52 of my Working with Todoist series. In this episode, I want to take you through uh, Todoist search. Now, as I was researching for this program, for this episode, I didn't realize how amazing Todoist search is. It is brilliant. I can't believe I've missed this in all the previous 50 odd episodes that I've done because I don't know why I just didn't use search but as I was researching for this particular episode wow search is amazing in Todoist let me quickly show you first of all uh, to get into this the search function is always at the top of your uh, window so uh, it's whatever view you are in you will always be able to go into search <clears throat> let's go back to my dashboard view and I can search now let's do the basic search. I can search for a specific project. So I've got one called Business Creativity. I don't even have to write the full project. All I have to do now is click on Business Creativity. Bang, it's there. Fantastic. Now that's just one of the easy searches. But let's go back to my uh, dashboard view and I can search for labels. Now this is where I realize this is really fantastic because uh, the search window is always on your screen. Now, for me to go into labels, usually I would have to go projects and then click on the labels and then find the label that I'm looking for. Now, yeah, I have a lot of labels, um, which I will review next month. But for most people, even if you have five, six, seven, eight, nine or ten labels, you're still having to click at least two or three times to find the label you want. But with search, you don't have to do that. If you know what you're looking for, um, and I guess most of you do and if you remember from my episode 51 where I talked about using labels not dates more specifically then this is going to be really cool so imagine I'm in a coffee shop and I have with me my iPad and my iPhone so I can type in I and that's really all I have to type in I have a lot of options open to me here but um, I want to use my iPad so I click on iPad bang immediately it shows me all my uh, tasks related to my iPad that's really cool again I could decide okay I'm ready to do some writing I type in WR it brings up my writing label bang there it is but Todoist does even more so those are the basics that finding a project finding a label but Todoist search does something incredible and this is what really blew me away now imagine I'm at home it's a Saturday afternoon which is one of my lazy times sorry Gary Vaynerchuk I do take some time off um, but I'm in the mood to do a little bit of thinking or considering because because I use the verb consider so all I have to do is type in consider and it says gives me this option query all tasks so I click on that and look what happens all my tasks that begin with the word, the verb consider, comes up. So consider putting a few dialogue samples in language section. Consider changing my tagline into productivity. Consider using Flipboard as a place for students to find articles of interest. That is pretty mind-blowing to me. Another one I could do, let's say I want to do thinking. Uh, I actually have a label for thinking, but let's skip the label and query all tasks. So everything that I have that has... The word think or thinking about it is there. So think about doing an online course on Todoist uh, and I would imagine that this um, will have the word think in there um, in the actual email. So this search function is something that I cannot believe I, I forgot about but it is absolutely amazing. Um, I also, uh, if I want, I just noticed that I have a word review and um, so if I type in the word review, I have a label for review, but let's just click on this and uh, look at that. Every single word with a review, every every task that I have with the word review is there. So next month when I do my big review, my big um, systems review, I can see all the tasks that I need to review just by typing it in the search. That to me is mind blowing. And that is one very good reason why you should be using Todoist. Anyway, I hope you found this episode as mind-blowing as I did when I researched it. And for the rest of you, I hope you all have an amazingly productive week and start using search in 
Todoist because it is amazing. Okay, have an amazingly productive week and I'll see you in episode 53.